Journal Entry 101. It's been a while since I've done one of these, so uh, let's get caught up to speed. Everything can be traced back to Project Freelancer, a military organization got horribly wrong. The men in charge were corrupt, and the soldiers who followed them were blind. And guess which side I was on. Eventually, it was the project's own creations that tore it to pieces, and I was the one sent out to pick them up. I recovered weapons, armor, and AI fragments, all in an effort to keep the wrong people from getting them first. But I was too slow. Everyone fought over the remnants of Project Freelancer. I didn't think I could believe in anyone anymore. But then, I met the reds and blues. Hey, Caboose! Hello. We've got a proposition for you. For me? Oh, well, you should have. They had been used by the freelancers just like I had. They were cannon fodder in a conflict with no purpose. But more importantly... Tucker! The Reds gave us a proposition! We should really send them back some sort of thank you basket. Like, for a proposition just means a choice, you idiot! Oh. We will take the fuzzy one. But you don't even know what the proposition is yet. Well, then we don't know that it isn't fuzzy now, do we? They were just stupid enough to trust. Together, we were able to put an end to everything. The freelancers, the AI, even the director of the whole operation. They're all gone. And as for us, well, we're shipwrecked. Crashed during our ride home. And if we're not rescued soon, I have a feeling something else might find us first. This is Agent Washington signing. Oh, what now? You missed, sir. Dag. Damn it! Lou and Sam Hill sent this thing to invert it! Well, sir, statistically, most users enjoy a... It was probably Griff, sir. Hey! What the fuck is going on out here? Who's firing at our base? We are! You are? Our base is in desperate need of renovations. Figured I'd tear down the east wing and put in something nice and decorative. Like a mortar cannon. And it didn't occur to you to warn me before you started blowing holes in the side of the wall? Oh, come on! Direct hit, sir. No, it wasn't. What are you two doing? Well, if it isn't our good friend, Agent Washington... Don't try to butter me up. Also, please refrain from pointing that at me. Fine. We were just borrowing the tank for a little construction work. Really? And which one of my men authorized this? It was Caboose, wasn't Probably. it? Probably. <sighs> Sarge, get out of the tank. Not a chance, Blue. Position's nine-tenths of the law. The other tenth is a tank. I've got both. Besides, we need to upgrade our quarters. Your quarters are fine. Yeah, now get out of the tank, you senile old fucking son of a bitch! Finger slip. Out. Now. My turn. Please, be quiet. My turn. This is an outrage! Blue base is built directly below the crash site. You've got an unfair advantage. Sarge, the reds and blues aren't fighting. We're just camped at opposite ends of the canyon in color divided teams. While heavily armed. True. But have you ever considered that fighting is just in our nature? It's almost instinctual. If we're not constantly trying to stab each other in the back, we'll surely die. Dear God, I hate you. That's the spirit. <laughs> we may not be fighting, but you're still way closer to the food storage than we are, and that is something I will not stand for. You won't stand for anything, fat ass. If you were a few feet closer, you'd be sorry. If we don't ration our food, we'll all be sorry. We've yet to get our communications dish online, and if we run out of food before we can radio for help, we're screwed. Buzzkill. Come on, Caboose. We need to go have a chat with Private Tucker. There goes the revered leader of the Blue Army. What a dick. Fine! We don't need that tank anyway! As many great 21st century movie trailers once said, this is only the beginning. And then text would appear on the screen, and the music would cut out abruptly. And they'd say one... Final line of dialogue to leave the audience with the ultimate sense of excitement! Like what? I don't know. Oh shit. We are back! Caboose! Christ, I thought you were in that thing! Wait, who is in that thing? Hello, Private. Oh shit. What is the one thing I tell you each and every morning? Wake up, the other thing. For the love of God, stop sleeping naked. Don't let anyone touch the tank.
<laughs> okay, I can see where you're going with this. Until we're rescued, we need to be more mindful of the supplies that we have. I know, I know. Ration the food. Maintain our equipment. Brush your teeth. Don't talk to strangers. Try not to shoot anyone while they're trying to brush their teeth. And always report in to me. Do we have to? Yes! I even put up that old blue team organizational chart to help demonstrate the point. Yeah, but we never really listened to that. Church just kind of shouted orders and we'd get around to them, eventually. Or we wouldn't. Whatever. It was an inspiration to us all. Well, Church and Carolina decided to run off without so much as a goodbye. So it's up to me to keep us all together. Maybe if someone hadn't have crashed the ship, we wouldn't be in this mess. Oh, wait a second. Why are you looking at me when you say that? I just have a hard time believing the thousands of well-trained crew members were to blame for the incident. Well, they definitely didn't survive it! <laughs> um. Wow. Yeah. You proud of yourself? No. Yeah, that was... That, that's too soon. Pro probably too soon for sound effects, too. Oh, God, the best. Yeah, that's too soon. I couldn't agree more, sir. But you have no idea what he's gonna say! Oh, right, yeah. Just got a little excited. You are the worst kind of person. Quiet, morons! We've got a situation on our hands! Which is? The deplorable condition of Red Base! You're still hung up on that? We're stranded in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by a mysterious and seemingly uninhabited jungle, might I add, and you're worried about the condition of our makeshift fort. Besides, I don't think our base is even that bad. Well, I wouldn't say that. What? What's wrong with it? Seriously? There's an enormous hole in the roof. Every night it rains, I get washed into the corner. Oh, well, yeah, there's that, but, I mean, overall... And the majority of the West Wing is made up of sandbags and rain tarps. Which reminds me, if we have rain tarps, why aren't we using them to cover up the hole in the roof? Listen, I think you guys are blowing this whole thing a little out of proportion. You're just saying that because you're the one that designed the base. Well, I did a better job than you would have done. That's not saying much. I bet I could at least do it in a better location. But this is the best location. The sunlight is perfect for maintaining my vegetable garden, and the faulty engine from the ship should keep us warm all winter. But aren't slip space engines extremely radioactive? Well, that would explain why my hair keeps falling out, and why all your cabbages have three heads. I thought I was just really good at farming. No, Simmons. You're good at other things, like always being on time and maintaining your virginity. Oh, yeah? Well, we'll see who's laughing when my garden produces a bountiful crop in the coming harvest. Glad to hear you've still got that virginity on lockdown, buddy. 
From this point forward, this side of the wall is to be reserved for my own personal use. Wait, wait, wait. You get half of the base all to yourself? What about me and Griff? Sorry, Simmons. Afraid I can't hear you from the next room. These walls are just too thick. But I... Enjoy your new roommate. <laughs> Ground rules. If there's a sock on the door, do not come in. But we don't have socks. Or a door. And I don't have an internet connection. But we've all got to find some way to masturbate, now don't we? Die. Groot. Oh, woe is me. Oh, I don't know what that even means. Still standing in the corner, Caboose? Oh, yeah. I, you know, I, I just... Yeah, I just miss you sometimes. I know you do, buddy. He was your leader for a really long time. Yeah, I am just... I am just so lost without him. I... I don't even recognize my own face! Well, you don't have your old helmet anymore, Caboose. Also, your helmet and face are not the same thing. Oh, God, that explains the blinking contest. Why did you have to tell me that? Oh, you just made it worse. I'm sure that somewhere out there, Church is thinking about how much he misses you, too. You really think so? Shut Good adventure up. together! Well, we ride bikes mouth. and solve crime! Shut up! As if we're Shut gonna go up. to the fair! Kaboom! We are gonna the scrap love of God! Yeah, we are Shut gonna your pet. Yeah. Why don't you go for a walk? Take a little time to clear your head. Yeah. Yeah, I just... Yeah, I go on a walk by myself, I guess. That won't be depressing at all. attempts to break his or her soldiers so that they may overcome their civilian mindset and focus on the responsibility and selflessness of becoming a true soldier. Uh, bro, I went through basic ages ago. True soldier, standing right here. What is the UNSC motto? When in doubt, rub one out. I am going to break you, Private Tucker. Ooh, I'm shaking in my armor. Inside this tunnel is an elaborate obstacle course designed to test both your reflexes and your metal. Uh, like copper? No, that's metal. I said metal. Whatever. On your mark, get set. This is such bullshit! Ow! Okay, I'm going! Huh? Fucking cold! Whoa! Jesus Christ! Oh my god, where are you coming from? Who are these people? What the fuck is going on? Congratulations, <laughs> Private. That time was adequate. Or a beginner? I... What was... <laughs> I don't... Just an adrenaline rush, Tucker. It'll wear off. I'm... I'm... Shaking in your armor? Oh boy, oh boy. Hello, hello. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Glad to see you're feeling better. I've got a little exercise for you. Oh god, I can't believe it. Inside this cave is an elaborate obstacle course designed to... Oh god, 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 oh god,
I think that's enough training for today. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go work on the comm tower. Yeah. Hey, Rumi. Uh, you got a second for me? What's up? Oh, you know, not much, not much. Uh, oh, so, question for you. Uh-huh. By any chance, you know, have you seen my toothbrush? Uh... I don't think so. Okay, okay. Uh, you sure? Yeah. Huh. Because, you know, I'm pretty sure I saw you with it earlier. Dude, you're acting weird. Hmm? What? What do you mean? I mean, clearly you're accusing me of using your toothbrush. But instead of just coming out and saying it, you're being really passive-aggressive and tiptoeing around the accusation. Huh. You did the same thing when I left the lights on, and when I put my boots on your side of the room. And I feel like there's this constant tension growing between us that's inevitably going to erupt over what would normally be considered a small issue. Yeah, well... You know, I wouldn't be asking you about my toothbrush if I hadn't seen you with it earlier. I used your toothbrush. You fuck! Dude, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? You keep stacking dishes in the sink. I don't even think you've eaten off of some of them. For all I know, you're doing it because you're fucking bored. Wait, isn't the sink just where dishes go? No! They go in the cupboard! We have a cupboard? Hey, keep it down in there! I'm trying to watch my stories! Sarge, please, tear down the wall! I can't take Griff's laziness in small spaces! I'm sorry, Simmons, but we all have to make sacrifices. Except for me, because I'm in charge. Hey, Simmons, probably isn't the best time to say this, but, uh, we're out of toilet paper. What? How? I don't know. <clears throat> I believe you borrowed my toolbox. What do you need a toolbox for? Repairing the comm tower. I know you three are having fun playing house, but I'd really rather leave this place. Playing house? Son, this is a highly... Whoops, forgot to use the door. The toolbox. Upstairs. Show me. <sighs> Fine. But don't touch any of my stuff. Ah, uh, this place is a pigsty. It's not a pigsty, Wash. It's a way of life. Hey, Sarge, didn't we recover an old robot building kit from the crash? Sure did. Makes a great footrest. I like to pop my feet up while I'm watching my stories. Well, if we were to repurpose the robot's radio transmitter for the comp tower, we might be able to... Simmons, I'm gonna have to stop you before your terrible plan becomes any more terrible. Oh. Fortunately, I believe we may be able to use this robot kit to build some sort of robot. We can put it to work constructing a radio transmitter, and then the comp tower would be fixed in no time. Well, don't you think it would be better if... Not at all! Let's build a robot! I hate them. Are those my socks? Yeah, but you probably don't want those back. I hate all of them. I'm just saying, I feel like somebody should have found us by now. Hmm. You know, it's like, if a plane crashes and disappears, that's fine, civilians, whatever. Not sure if I agree with you on that. But this was a fucking spaceship. That's like, national tragedy level important. It was a big ship. And what about GPS? The galactic positioning system should have been able to inform command of our location within seconds of a mayday. How do you know that? Uh... And the galactic positioning system would be able to inform command of our location within seconds of a mayday. So even if the ship were to crash, rescue would be practically immediate. Isn't that rad? Cool, nerd stuff. Hey, Smurglord, is it just me or is that blonde over there checking me out? Who, the pilot? Yeah, she's definitely checking me out. Wait, you can't go over there! Hey, baby, I hear you're a pilot. Think you could pull up on my throttle? Bow, chicka, bow, wow. I read it in a book? I don't believe you. Then again, I don't really care. Hey. Whoa, whoa, what? Nothing. What happened to my soldering iron? Oh, uh, I don't know. Damn it. This would be going so much faster if I didn't have to keep tracking down equipment every five minutes. What, you think the Reds took it? Man, it appears our shitty fortifications aren't meeting my ridiculous standards. Let's steal Washington's tank and fire it in our walls. That'll fix it. Yes, I think the Reds took it. Man, why are you so wound up all the time? Because every second we're here is another second closer to death. Or worse. What's worse than death? I don't know. I just thought it sounded dramatic. Come on, it's not that bad. I mean, if we were back in Blood Gulch, we'd be doing the exact same shit, you know? There's just something about this place. I can't help but feel like we're being watched. Oh, please. People get that feeling all the time. I had it for years. But that's because you were being watched. You were monitored by a secret organization for every second of every day. Well, I don't feel like I'm being watched now. Thank you. I feel much more secure. Don't be a dick. Then don't be an idiot. The fuck is your problem? My problem is that you're absolutely right. Somebody should have found us by now. 
Now where the hell is that goddamn soldering iron? Boy, you are lucky I came by. What is a little fella like you doing way out here? Hey, no moving. I have to get you out of here first. Don't worry. We're gonna be best friends. You're an idiot. Am I, Simmons? Or am I just a man who's willing to ask the hard questions? You're definitely an idiot. You're both idiots. So keep it down, I'm trying to focus. Terminator. The Matrix. Battlestar Galactica. Everything points to robot domination of the human race. Well, technically some Cylons relied more on synthetic biology and not conventional robotics. But that was only in the series reboot. And you know, those were pretty rare. Fine. Then Wally. It doesn't matter. I just think it's strange that we're not already bowing down to our robot overlords. I'm a cyborg. You want to bow down to me? Pass. Fuck you, Meat Sack. Your logic is flawed. You are the biggest fucking nerd. You know that, right? I mean, you really know that? You must construct additional pylons. <laughs> well, welcome to Strams, Uncle. I think we're in business. Ladies, I would like to introduce you to the newest addition to Red Team. Can it talk? Hola. You've oh, got to come be kidding. on! Huh. That is an unfortunate coincidence. Spanish. Why is it fucking Spanish? Why not French, or German, or Sangali? Lo siento. Mi elección de idioma no complacerte. Mi configuración del sistema actualmente se establece en, en español. <laughs> you know, it almost feels like the good old days. Just me, a Spanish-speaking robot, and a couple of complete idiots. You're talking about Griff and Donut, right? Thanks, dickhead. Lopez does point oh. It's good to have you aboard. Gracias, maestro. Es mi deber. Now, get to work, slacker. Perdón. Calm tower. Middle of the canyon. Repero los rapido. It's Spanish, Sarge, not Harry Potter. Sueno como si usted tiene algún equipo que está en necesidad de reparación. Eso es correcto. Hmm. He's not doing anything. Maybe he's stupid. Robot, do you understand us? Comprehend, eh? See. Well, he knows what we're saying, so I guess he's just stupid. Les puedo asegurar, estoy realizando e una encima de la media. Ugh, poor stupid Lopez Toast.0. Well, let's just take him over to the comp tower. Why? He's a moron. Yep, but maybe he'll end up being like a Rain Man type moron. We could get him one of those gray suits. Haré mi mejor esfuerzo para servirle a usted, amo. <sighs> What a shame. He's dead! He's dead! He is all dead. Now it's time again! Oh, thank God, that was close. Nothing. Hold on. Okay, try it again. Still nothing. Balls. Hey, what exactly are you doing down there? Oh, you know. Calibrating. Calibrating? Yeah. You haven't done anything, have you? Dude, I don't know what I'm doing or why you sent me down here. Right. Guess I should have expected that. Hey, Wash, I think we've got a situation. What kind of... Oh. Good to see you, too. What do you want? Figured it'd be a good idea to come over and lend a hand. No, that's a terrible idea. Please don't touch anything. But we could provide tech support. Have you tried using any D batteries? Power isn't our problem. These battery arrays are solar. Well, there's your problem. This baby needs to be converted to diesel on the pronto. Solar is field standard for communication systems. Well, ooh la la, private hippie. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we just plant a garden then? Grow some organic sun-dried tomatoes and open a farmer's market. Then on the first Saturday of the month, when the UNSC ships show up to buy some fresh, sustainable produce, we just hop on board and ride back on the power of love. Tucker, if they touch anything, or if he makes any more suggestions, prod them with your sword. <laughs> now that's something I can get behind. About your cabal? Wait, no. No, 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 no. Fine. Then I guess you don't want any help from our incredibly advanced robotic companion. 
Hola. Nope. Racist. Hey, tree hugger. What if I told you it runs on recycled cooking grease? It's perfect. Griff sweats the stuff. What else was I supposed to drink once we ran out of soda? There's always water. Please. What are we, cavemen? I said no. Seguro que no quieres ayuda. Esto parece ser una solución relativamente simple. Whoa, is that Lopez? Not exactly. This one isn't very smart. En serio, chicos, estoy buscando en el problema. Yo puedo arreglarlo ahora. How can you tell? Oh, a mother knows. Bueno, si nadie me va a parar, voy a arreglar su torre de radio. Why don't you three go check on our food supply? It's been a while since I've done a full inventory. You can't just shove your bitch work on us. What do we look like? Uh, bitches? Tucker, I want 100 squats. What? But it was leg day yesterday. You're a space marine, Private. Every day is leg day. This is bullshit. Ha! Who's the bitch now? Your sister was my bitch, if I remember correctly. What did you say to me, bitch? No one is a bitch. Now both of you be quiet. Simmons is kind of a bitch. Hey, what the fuck? Ah, uh, can it, Private Bitch? Yes, sir. Bitch. I said be quiet! <laughs> Holy shit. It's working. I... I don't know what I did, but it's working. Camaradas, hey, repardo la torre de radio. Estas satisfecho con mi actuación. Lopez, you're ruining the moment. Mayday, Mayday, this is Agent Washington. Can anybody read me? Over. Maybe they're screening our calls. What do you mean, they? Who is they? I don't know. People who know us? What? Look, I wouldn't pick up the phone if any of you fuckers called me. Mayday, Mayday, we are survivors of a shipwreck and are in need of immediate rescue. Please respond. Don't call them back right away. You gotta wait or else you'll look desperate. But we are desperate. Everyone shut up! Whoa. Mayday, Mayday, this is Agent Washington and the red and blue troopers of Project Freelancer. We are stranded. Does anyone copy? Mayday, this is Agent Washington. I am a soldier. Is anybody out there? Can anybody hear me? Yes! Yes, we're here. Do you read us? This is a prank call. No, no, no. This is real. Please, you have to listen to me. My men and I are shipwrecked. It's an emergency! Blackhawk down! Go red! What, like a lightest red? What the fuck did he just say? Because, I mean, red is a pretty broad spectrum. There's scarlet, vermilion, like, a deep burgundy. Donut, is that you? Sarge? Oh, hey, guys. What have you been up to? We're stranded in the middle of the jungle with dwindling food and limited supplies. That sucks. No shit, dickhead. Donut, I need you to listen to me. You need to send help. Call command. Command? I think I know a guy if you want to turn this call into a three-way. No. Don't do that. I need you to write down these coordinates. Who is Donut again? Cheery guy? Pink armor? Kind of stupid. And a little... Wait, did I shoot him once? Bingo. Got it. And he's competent enough to trust with our lives? Sorry, did you say five or nine? I said eight. Oh. Right. Okay, Donut. Those are our last known coordinates, but be sure to let the rescue team know that we've got no clue where we actually landed. Don't worry, guys. No matter how deep the bush, Private Donut always finds his man. Roger that, son. What was that? You're breaking up. Just send help as fast as you can. Open up, please. So, what happened? Well, boys, I don't want to jinx this or anything like that, but we're going to be rescued! Yeah! Woo! All right! Yeah, rescue! So I can't wait to eat a hot dog! Guys. There's no possible way anything can go wrong! Everything is going to be good forever! Forever the long day! Yeah, yeah, that sounds great! Be true, but fuck it, I'm excited anyway! Guys, it could still be a few days before they... Let's eat all of our food rations tonight! And then fire all of our excess ammunition indiscriminately into the air to celebrate! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. yeah. And then let's fix up that old warthog that's been hanging near our base! Yeah. Yeah. our hopes up just yet. Oh, come on, Wash. Lighten up. We did it. We made contact. <sighs> well, it is the first good news that we've had in a while. <sighs> hey, everyone! Caboose! Where have you been? Yeah, I went on a 
walk like you said. And now, everything is gonna be good forever! Told you so! Wait, Caboose, you were miserable. What happened? Oh, heh. <laughs> now, why are my manners? I haven't even introduced him. Introduced who? Freckles! Come! Take out the fucking trash. Why do we carry our guns? What? 
Our guns. Why do we carry them? Because we're soldiers. Yeah. But we're not really fighting anybody, are we? Well, yeah, but you never know when we could be attacked. Attacked by who? The Blues? Uh... We haven't fought a single goddamn enemy since arriving in this canyon, and yet here we are walking around in full body armor with a rifle in our hands, like the fucking galaxy's about to attack us any second. What's your point? My point is, why don't we ever just walk around without our guns? Do it. What? Drop your gun. No! Why not? I don't want to. You don't want to? Or you can't? Um, I'm... I'm going back inside. And thus, Dexter Griff single-handedly avoids trash duty for the second day in a row. Hoorah. Man, fall in! Double time! This is not a drill! What the hell? I knew there was a reason we were armed. Sarge, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? How about scheming, training, conniving, commiserating, colluding? Take your pick! Also, building a giant robot! Those blues are up to no good! And here I was, thinking something important was about to happen. But, sir, didn't we build a robot first? Usted es hablan de mi. Those point oh doesn't count. He's about as useful as a box full of griffs. Hey, I'm offended. Oh, bien. Ben, I know we've considered the blues to be our, quote, allies, unquote, for some time now. But we have to look at the facts. What facts? Number one, they now possess a tank on legs that's capable of killing us all. Okay. And number two is that we didn't have our own number one first. Clearly, this is a conspiracy. So what do you expect us to do about it? I need you boys to conduct some reconnaissance. Secure intel. Get deep in Charlie's bush. Initiate Delta Force. Tango and cash. Are these orders or 80s action movies? Find out exactly what those pesky blues are up to. You mean go over there? Near that monster? See? This is exactly the kind of robot overlord shit I was talking about. If only someone had listened! It'll be dangerous. But I have confidence that at least one of you will survive. Simmons. Why aren't you coming? We've had a major breach in security. One of the bags in my wall tore open. And now there's sand all over the place. I can see how that might take priority. <sighs> it's likely that we'll never fully recover. There's just so many tiny crevices. Sarge, please. I don't want to upset the mantis. What's a mantis? The giant robot. Oh. Why is it called that? I don't know, because it's green? That's not the point. Well, that's not a very good reason to call it a mantis. Talvez lo llaman mantis. Ya que tiene un sistema de camuflaje ananzado que utiliza para atrapar enemigos. Whatever, dum-dum. Can't you see we're talking strategy? Stupid new Lopez. Look, the blues are no more dangerous than this idiot. Oye, vamos chicos, ya basta. But that robot could flatten us in an instant. You raise an excellent point, Simmons. I do? Yep. So you better not get spotted while you're out there. <sighs> Let's just get this over with. But I'm telling you, the blues aren't up to anything! All right, change of plans. No freckles, no freckles go down. I did. Shit, that's that good, freckles. Yes, yes, sucker. Yes, did you see this? Freckles did it, squad. Great. Now teach him to fetch. And then throw a stick off a cliff. Oh, he knows how to fetch. Freckles! Freckles! Get the ball! Uh, see that? That was just, that was just poor phrasing on my part. Really. I mean, I was just, I, I, I think I was just grammatically, it was grammatically incorrect. So. All right, we made it. is making me feel really weird. Oh, this isn't getting us anywhere. Well, why don't you just ask them what they're up to? What, and blow our cover? What do we look like, SEAL Team 6? Who gives a shit, dude? You already said they're not up to anything. But what about the robot? Oh, yeah. See, we need to strategize. Okay, fine. How do we want to do this? Oh, we could do like a sort of good cop, bad cop thing. What if we act casual, like we're just shooting the shit or something? Maybe if we go in, guns blazing, we can intimidate them into telling us what we want. Wait, 
What do we want? I don't know. What are you doing? All right, listen, Tucker. I'm willing to hear you out, but my partner is crazy. I can't hold him back. What? I mean, hey, what's up? How's the weather? No, wait, I mean, tell me what you know. I'm sorry. That's some solid detective work there, Officer Simmons. Yeah, so if you guys could not watch us work out, that'd be great. Because it's a little weird. It's really weird. Sarge ordered us to come spy on you. He thinks you're up to something. Dude, the only thing I've done today is exercise. <sighs> you poor tortured soul. What are you training for? Fuck if I know, every day it's the same thing. Wake up, run drills. Clean the base, run drills. Maintain order, run drills. I have glamorous calves and a miserable fucking life! Can we please stop running drills? I had calves once. Way more tender than a regular cow. You can taste the youth. Wash makes you clean the base? And our equipment, and our vehicles. The guy's obsessed with rules and order. Yeah. Can you imagine having to deal with someone like that? Rules and order. Oh. I know, right? He's even got an organizational charm. <gasps> what a loser. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, mm. well, uh, that all sounds very interesting, Tucker, but I think I need to see this for myself. What? What? Well, you know, I just want to make sure his story checks out. Inspect the base, stick around for a few days. Checks out? What are you going to find that we can't already see? The thing is completely exposed. It's empty. It's clean, dude. <sighs> clean. Are you sure you want to hang around? Wash might make you run his obstacle course or something. Yeah, Sarge made us do that, too. On your mark, get set. This is such bullshit. Oh, why? New record. Sometimes when I sneeze, Buckshot comes out. Look, let me just hang out for a few days. I'll be cool, I swear. Don't lie to the man's face. Whatever, dude. Just remember, I warned you. Well, Griff, I guess this is goodbye. Wait, how long are you planning on being gone? Until the job's done, I guess. And you're sure you'd rather be near the Blues and their giant killer fucking robot instead of just coming back to base? Hey, I think I broke the urinal in the laundry room. We don't have a urinal in the laundry room. Oh. Yes, I'm sure. Whatever, your funeral. Just remember, if a robot ever corners you, just stick him with a magnet. Computers haven't been affected by magnets since the 20th century. Which is exactly what they want you to think. Finally, a place I can call home. All right, Freckles. Fetch! Hey, Caboose, you dropped your ball. Declare me target. Ah, what did I do? Ah, oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, we're, we're still working on that one. Hey, we're Sarge. Por que me la preguntas? Usted no habla español. Brave Griff. I see you've returned from your reconnaissance mission unscathed. That's disappointing. Well, except all. Hombre, lo que es carne de este tipo con usted. So, what information have you recovered? Uh, that the Blues aren't up to anything and that you're a paranoid old man bordering on senility? Uh-huh. I'll take that into consideration, Private. But how about we hear from our more competent soldier? Simmons? He's with the Blues. With the Blues? Yeah, he seemed really eager to stay at their base for some reason. Well... I suppose it was only a matter of time. A matter of time? Yep. I knew this day would come. Really? You knew Simmons would eventually want to leave the Red Team? Leave Red Team? Griff, are you even paying attention? I mean, not really. I, I... First they build a giant robot. Then they capture my second in command. It's just as I had predicted. The enemy has finally shown its true colors. And that color is pound zero 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 FF. What? Blue! Blue! It's red versus blue all over again! No, Sarge. They didn't capture... Can you believe it? Posing as our allies only to stab us in the back years after our conflict had seemingly ended. They've pulled off the most elaborate ruse in the history of simulated military combat! I don't... I mean, really? How far back did they start planning this thing? You're not listening! Like, did they know about all the freelancers from the beginning? Sarge... And what about Church? For years they told us he was a ghost. But then he was an ancient artifact or something, and there were aliens involved? I don't know! Sometimes I wonder just how deep this rabbit hole goes! Stop! It's almost like all of this is some sort of sick game! This conversation is starting to get a little meta. You're right. You think he was in on it too? I think you're jumping to conclusions. And I conclude you need to shut your mouth and move your feet! What are you gonna do? We are going to do the Reds' signature blood gulch maneuver! <sighs> Me hace feliz saber que está ignorado tanto como estoy por aquí.
Okay, Frankel. Run over! Objective complete. That's cheating. Hey, Tucker! What? Do you have any idea when Wash is getting back? I had some suggestions regarding the upkeep of Blue Base. I don't know and I don't care. Well, I've got two words for you, buddy. Chore wheel. And I've got two words for you. How about fuck off? Just think about it. Wheel of chores. I hate my life. Tucker! You know what? I take it back. I hate everyone else's lives. Wish they didn't have them. Oh my god, am I turning into church? Why aren't you running drills? How do you know I didn't already finish them? Because you're not on the ground complaining about irritated nipples. I'm telling you, my chest piece rubs right up against them. And not in a good way. Why do you refuse to take these things seriously? Why can't you just let us do our thing? I'm trying to make sure you're the best. That you're ready for anything. Why? Blue Team was just fine with being mediocre until you came along. What the fuck are you worried about? It's just a feeling. I can't explain it. Really? Because I bet I can. You're a paranoid, ex-special ops guy who's used to being betrayed on a weekly basis. Not much of a riddle, Wash. Hey, next do you want to figure out the mystery of why Caboose isn't the team treasurer? Oh, so we're going there. Oh, bitch, I already went there, and I took pictures. Ooh, girl! Well, I can't say I'm surprised, Lavernius. You just always have to get the last laugh, Mr. Quick-Witted, Mr. Sarcastic. If you spend as much time training as you do mouthing off, you could probably beat Freckles at arm wrestling. Don't be stupid. Freckles doesn't have arms. He has guns. And pause! Freckles shake! <laughs> Get it! He shakes! It's awesome! Caboose! Yeah, yeah, we're still working on it. Oh, hey, Wash, I didn't know you were back. What is... Why is he here? I took the liberty of claiming the bunk closest to you. I hope you don't mind. I don't have time to deal with you right now. Go away. <laughs> Good one, sir. Oh, hey, by the way, is it cool if I start calling you sir? Why is he still here? Beats me. If I was him, I'd be as far away from this base as possible. You can call me champ if you want. Or, you know, son. Just ignore him. Or Sir Junior. Look, as long as I'm leader of this team, I will do everything in my power to ensure your safety, whether you like it or not. We don't need you protecting us. I know! That's why I'm trying to help you. Help us with what? Defending against attack? No one is going to attack us! Attack! Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Damn it, Griff! You forgot our theme music! Oh, right. Ah, forget it, Mama's past. Enemy soldiers detected. Ah, uh, good freckles. No murdering everyone. Uh, I would just like to take this opportunity to point out that this was not my idea whatsoever at all. You have literally the worst timing. Screw it, then, man. No longer fraternizing with the enemy! Ben Mint? Now, see, when he says we, imagine he's only referring to himself. Do not group us together. Bitch, my armor's aqua! I think. What the hell are you two doing? Uh, again, not two, just him. I can't stress this enough. You made me believe that reds and blues could coexist! That we could work together as one people! That we could all get together and be a little purple! We can! We are! Seriously, what the fuck is this about? You kidnapped one of my men! Who? Me? He wasn't kidnapped, dipshit. He came over here by himself. We can't get him to leave. Is this true, Simmons? It's not your fault, sir. It's Griff's. What did I do? You're fucking disgusting, Griff. Well, yeah, but I've always been like that. Sarge was the one that decided to take half the base for himself. Oh, then I guess it is your fault, sir. That makes you a traitor! What? Um, yeah, no reason for panic. Everything's fine. Might anyone have a rolled up newspaper at the ready? You weren't kidnapped. You deliberately joined the enemy. But if he wasn't kidnapped, that would mean we were never the enemy in the first place. Don't try and confuse me with your words, Shamrock. I'm Aqua. Tucker, calm down. Me? These guys roll up in a fucking assault jeep and you choose to yell at me? Look, tensions are high. No shit, Washington. I'm tired of you bossing us around. Now is not the time. You know, I disagree. We were having a talk when Tweedledee and Twiddle fucking idiot decided to interrupt, so let's finish this. There is nothing to finish! Are we intruding on some sort of lover's quarrel right now? You are the worst thing to happen to this team since Blue Boy over there decided to show up. I'm a man! Blue man! You take that back. Wash is a great leader. I assume. Blasphemy! Deadly force authorized. Seriously! I would rather follow Caboose into battle than you. Oh, really? Then let's just make him the leader. See how much better off you are. Well, I humbly 
they accept your domination, accept the position. Shut up! Wash and I are having an argument. I will be talking back to him. That's how arguments work, you fucking toaster. Washington is not the commanding officer. What? What? In a unanimous decision by the blue team, Caboose has been promoted to blue leader. Captain Caboose is your commanding officer. Do not talk back to your commanding officer. Suggestions! 
Well, we know the communications tower works, so we should continue in our efforts to make contact. Ah, yes. Very good. Excellent, yes. However, we should also work on trying to boost the signal of the radio transmitter. We were barely able to maintain a steady line of communication last time. Even if we make contact again, there's no guarantee anyone would be able to understand us. Ah, yes. Ah, right, yes. Yes, did we need to do that? Tucker, go fix the radio thing. Me? Why not Wash? He's the one who built it. Tucker, we can't, don't ruin it. All right, listen, we're going to use Wash here for another job. But, uh, Caboose. <laughs> yeah, I think it said, you know, uh, Wash is it is mean and scary. Yes, yes, he will be our lookout. Lookout? Yes, Washington, make sure you look out for bad guys. And anything that looks scary. There's a giant robot trying to kill me. Yeah, why can't Freckles be our lookout? Killing stuff is like his entire reason for existing. Well, um, every great leader needs a great best friend. And Freckles, I think you could be that best friend. Acknowledged. Um, do I need to do anything? Oh my god, a red! Oh my- Oh, no, sorry. Sorry, that's my bad. Sorry. Sorry, yes, Simmons. Yes, Simmons, we don't need to talk about that. Yes, um, Simmons, you do what you, uh, normally do for the Reds. But instead, for the Blues. Uh, yes, sir. Wait, what is your job for the Reds? What do you mean? I just did it. Okay, everybody. And deep. All right, see you. Bye. I hope you're happy. Hey, don't pin this shit on me. I'll just stay here, I guess. All right, you're all patched up. I can't feel my toes. Is that normal? Um, let's go with yes. Works for me. You know, the next time someone comes to help you, I wouldn't really recommend beating the crap out of them. Well, the next time somebody comes to help us, I hope they actually bring us help. Hey, I take offense to that. Yeah, it's called an insult. Oh. So what the heck happened? After you guys dropped me off in Valhalla, you guys were supposed to be going back to Blood Gulch. Well, funny story. Oh my god, who spilled soda all over my instrument? Oh my god, I spilled my soda? Somehow, the ship crashed, but uh, no one seems to know why or how or when or... Man. I didn't do it, you can't prove that I did. It's time we took action. Uh, we're not gonna do anything violent, are we? Remember, I'm a pacifist. Yeah, but think about it. You can't spell pacifist without fist, but you need to throw a punch. That always leads to fighting, the precursor to a full-out battle, which is ultimately the first step on the inevitable road to war. Violence is unavoidable, Doc. Time to just admit you've got a natural-born pacifist lust for murder. <sighs> Why do I even bother? Oh, come on, Doc. Where's your sense of adventure? We're a bunch of strapping young men stranded in the wilderness. If that doesn't sound like a good time, I don't know what does. I'm starting to remember why I don't like you. It's just like camping! Who wants to help me pitch a tent? Yep, there it is. Since landing in this godforsaken hellhole, we've let Washington make all the decisions. And just look where that's gotten us! The war dog is destroyed. We're running low on food, and Simmons is being held prisoner. Shit's pretty fucked. It's high time we took matters into our own hands! Red hands! The days of standing idly by while the blues do interesting and convoluted things are over! All right! It's our time to shine! Can I get a heck yeah? Hell no! Close enough! What I'm about to propose to you gentlemen is in no way simple, smart, or seemingly possible. Solid pep talk so far, Sarge. There's one thing in this canyon that's been the source of all our problems. If we want to get out of here alive, we're going to have to eliminate it! Boys, we've got to kill Freckles. Um, we don't know who that is. We just got here. The robot. You mean Lopez? Creo que están hablando de nosotros. A menos que están hablando de mi construir, no me importa. No, the giant robot that belongs to Caboose, aka the thing that will fucking kill us if we get anywhere near it. So exactly how do you plan on eliminating it, Sarge? Well, if our ship was carrying something as big as Freckles, I figure it may have also been carrying something big enough to break him. We're going aboard the ship? We'll move in tonight. Donut, you guard the base while we're gone. Awesome! Hey! You guys haven't seen anything suspicious around, have you? Uh, suspicious? Why, whatever do you mean, Agent Washington? 
Nothing. Just doing my job. Nice save, Sarge. It's very convincing. <laughs> Can I get some fuel on three? You got it. Thanks. Hey, uh, I'm not really from around here, but, uh, do you know about that crashed spaceship? Spaceship? Yeah, I just dropped off a couple of guys and saw it in the middle of a canyon. It's big. Like, really big. No, I can't say I've heard of it. Really? Oh, man. I mean, someone should report that, right? Well, that's up to you. Yeah. Pretty bad. You got a phone I could use? Sure. Right behind you. Thanks. Just so you're aware, no one's gonna find your ship either. Control, this is Locus. Objective complete. Returning to crash site Bravo. Oh, this blows. I don't know the first thing about fixing intergalactic space radios. Uh-huh. Every movie I've ever seen with a repairman in it always glosses over the actual repairing part. It's just, hey lady, I'm here to lay some pipes. And then BAM! Two scoops of rape. Uh-huh. Damn it, woman, if you let the man do his job, then maybe we wouldn't be in this mess. Hey Tucker, what the fuck is this thing? It's a gravity lift. You step in it and it takes you upstairs. Well, I know it's that. What the fuck is it doing here? It's glowing. And going. So let me get this straight. We're survivors of a shipwreck, living off of the bare necessities, and in the middle of the room is this incredible feat of modern-day technology. I don't know. Wash found it on the ship, and so we put it in the base. What's so weird about that? It's like finding a car made out of rocks, plastic, and a Bluetooth radio. Oh, we've got that, too. Theory. Play. Song. Dance team. Did you mean Bomb Andy? Oh, piece of shit. Calling Bomb Andy. How are you able to power all of this? We're hooked up to the ship. You mean you have a direct line to a limitless power supply? Well, no, we'll definitely run out of fuel eventually. Just not anytime soon. So who cares? Take as much as you want. God bless the American way. What are you gonna do? Just a side project. Hey, Caboose. I've secured the perimeter. No bad guys to be found. Excellent work, Commander Washington. I admire your determination. Why, maybe someday you could be the leader of Blue Team. Yes, maybe someday. Now, I have a very important question for you, Washington. Okay. Um, do you think Freckles would look silly in a hat? Possibly a sombrero. You want to dress your pet up in people's clothes? You're supposed to morale right of the troops! You know, I just remembered I haven't checked for any bad guys on the ship. What? Washington! What are you even doing here? There, uh, there could be bad guys playing against us right now! You're right. Sorry, boss. I'll take care of it right away. Now, some people are just not cut out for military life, Freckles. Now, let's go make you that tiny hat. Thanks, Wash. Really looking out for your team. Hey, you've reached the voicemail of Andy the Bomb. Siri, hang up! Holy shit. It's actually them. other half. Why? Is it bad? We don't know. It landed somewhere else. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Hey, did you guys ever watch Lost? Shut no. up! Alright, men. Fan out and see what you can find. Remember, we're hunting the most dangerous prey of them all. Man? What? No! A giant robot! Oh, yeah. Psh, man. Everything kills man. Man's way down on the list. Right between koala and retarded koala. Yeah, man sucks. Shot. 
Griff, what the heck, man? Now, don't be a bitch. What is this? Beats me. You wanna try? There's a whole bunch of them in the corner. Uh, I'm not sure. You know how I feel about firearms. Come on. They don't do anything. They just stick. Well, let me think about it. Okay. Hey, this ain't a tea party, numbskulls. Get rid of those toys and get back to work. Fine. Oh, man. And take that stupid thing off your head. Okay. I never get to do anything cool. You better not be breaking things down there! Hmm. According to the ship's records, it was carrying a lot of standard issue weaponry, but it also has a bunch of stuff listed as experimental. Ooh, well that's military slang for really fucking dangerous. Where's that stuff? Uh, looks like most of it was on the other half of the ship. Boo. But there is one prototype that was kept here. Yes! The fuck are these? Looks like some kind of weird grenade. Or it could be a Rubik's Cube. I don't know. Huh. Ah! What are you doing? Trying it out. Whoa! You could have killed us! Did you see that? You can't just go around messing with experimental- Stop doing that! Dude! What is wrong with you? These things are like teleporter cubes. <sighs> be careful, we don't know how they work. What do you mean? Throw another thing, thing disappears. Throw another one, thing reappears. I could keep an entire buffet in the palm of my hand. Really? That's what you're excited about? Man! Upstairs! Now! Coming! Oh, I am taking these. Sarge, you'll never guess what we found. Son, you could have found a laser-guided napalm shark. I still wouldn't care. A what? You know that feeling you get when you see a pretty girl on the first day of school? You're not quite sure what to do, but your instincts just take over and you smile at her. And she smiles back. And suddenly the world is a brand new place. And your stomach is all full of twists and twirls. Um, yeah? Well, boys, I got that feeling right now. Oh, shit. Except imagine that pretty girl at school was armor plated with a titanium poly alloy and outfitted with 50 millimeter cannons and ammo for days. She sounds pretty high maintenance. She sounds like I'd need a safe word to date her. Oh, yeah. So, how will we get it out of the ship? Uh, teleportation cubes, anyone? No. A girl this fine's gotta be treated right. Oiled up and whatnot. We'll take her apart and move her ourselves, limb by limb. Packed away in carrying cases if necessary. Yeah, I think your dating metaphor kind of took a turn into serial killer territory there, Sarge. Seriously? I just found these awesome future cubes. It's destiny. What was that? Agent Washington? What the hell is he doing here? Doesn't matter. Let's just dismember this beautiful lady, pack her up, and take her back to our lair. I mean, base. Could you please stop referring to the robot as a woman? It's really weird. Not as weird as the throb and erection she's given me. Jesus Christ. Hmm. Needs a conductor. Ugh, stupid thing just opened. thought it'd come down to this. Sorry, Caboose. What is all this? It's the future. Where the hell have you been? I've been doing what I can to keep us alive. Oh, really? Then where were you when Freckles tried to kill me for calling his tiny hat stupid? I thought you didn't need me protecting you, Tucker. Hey, guys, I'm trying to revolutionize the world of intercanyon communication, so if you could just keep it down, that'd be great. What is he talking about? I'm talking about the internet! Welcome. Oh my god, everybody leave. Everybody leave right now. There's something I gotta do. The internet? Seriously, you're gonna see some shit if you don't leave. Well, it's not actually the internet. The only two points of communication are red and blue base. Why would you lie to us like that? You put one of these at red base, too? Yeah, I had to sneak past Freckles, but it was totally worth it. Why? Behold! Facebook? Yep. It's a site that lets you upload pictures, videos, and even text posts, so your friends will always know what you're up to. It's revolutionary! Revolutionary? The first social media sites were created hundreds of years ago. Also, there are no 
no friends in this canyon, only forced acquaintances. Well, yeah, but those old sites just turned into conglomerations of attention whores. Nothing but teenagers who wanted to prove they were cool, and old people who wanted to prove they were still relevant. So what's the point of Facebook? Oh, you know, just want to keep in touch with my friends on the red team while I'm your prisoner. Can't let them forget about old Simmons. <laughs> Glad to see you spent your time in captivity on something meaningful. So you made it. What now? I'm glad you asked. Let's see what Sarge is up to. Uh, huh. Hasn't set up his profile yet. Well, uh, that's cool. Uh, I'll just wait for an update. Yeah, I'm sure it'll come eventually. He's gotta have an update. <laughs> Updates. <laughs> you know, maybe you should go outside for a bit, Simmons. I'm sure Caboose wouldn't mind if you got some fresh air. No, no, it's all good, really. Uh, besides, I can save Sarge some time and make a profile for him. Yeah, that'll be fun. I'll make a post about it, too. You know, just so he knows. Hope you like the new blue team wash. Really work your magic. Yes! Okay, don't move! I have to grab my camera! Holding position. Oh, God. This is gonna be so cute. Hey, Wash, could you take my picture and then tag me in it? Because, you know, if I do it myself, I'll just look like one of those losers. <sighs> All right, spread them. Hey, Donut. Oh, it's you guys. What took you so long? It's not exactly easy transporting several tons of robot in a timely manner. I think Griff even dropped a bunch of pieces along the way. There's a difference between dropping and abandoning. What? Drop pieces? Griff! I find that a single screw is missing from this death machine, I'm gonna beat the living pulp out of you and then drink the remaining orange juice. Because I like my dead men pulp free and with extra calcium. What available. What if I lost multiple screws or several feet of armor plating? That's a giant robot fight, here we come. This is gonna be awesome. Fighting fire with fire. Good idea, Sarge. I still say we just trapped freckles in a future cube. You actually took one of those with you? Technically, yes. But actually, no. It's a cube that makes more cubes? No, they teleport stuff. Watch this. Fuck you, Cone. What did you ever do for me? Whoa. Nah, I'm just kidding, Cone. You can come back. Ooh, they're like Pokeballs. No, these are cool. Do not ruin them for me. Or maybe it sends stuff to the Phantom Zone. You know, like in that bad Superman movie. Superman 2 or Man of Steel? No, the 11th remake. Superman Origins 3, Revelation. Oh yeah, that was awesome. Sarge, look, let's just send Donut over to Blue Base with one of the cubes. He throws it at Freckles, Freckles gets zapped, and then we throw the cubes in a volcano or something. Why do I have to do it? In case it doesn't work, I want to be alive. Makes sense. But we still don't even know how the teleportation cubes work. What if they're extremely radioactive? Or what if they only work on inanimate objects? Uh, robots are objects. Hey, you're gonna hurt some feelings here. Don't ever talk like that in front of a robot. Hey, oído la palabra robot me has llamado. Nobody's talking to you, idiot. I just think we should run some tests first. But tests are hard. Well, if it means getting you morons away from me so I can work, I say go for it. Seriously? You can either test the cubes or test this thing's primary defense systems. What do I have to do for that? Just stand still and wait for the sweet embrace of death. Okay, yeah, I'm leaving now. Ooh, I'm gonna update my Facebook page about this. You what? Oh, Doc, you're gonna love it. You should see the photo Caboose just uploaded. It's hilarious! Suspiro, otro robot, que original. Psst, hey, has oído algo? Yeah, you, brown guy, over here. Mierda, quien es ese? Quien es que, no puedo ver. Hey, don't move, just listen. You and your friends are in a lot of trouble. Que? En serio, que carajo este pasando? I'm gonna get you guys out of here, okay? But listen, you gotta sit tight for just a little while longer. I'm not the only one that has their eyes on you. Espera, que significa eso? I gotta go. Look, I know you people can fend for yourselves. Just be careful. Tenga cuidado. Por qué? Quien nos está mirando? Vuelta me alrededor. Se ha ido. Ido. Desaparecido. El un hombre de los vatos. Lopez, tenemos que decirle a alguien. No puedes estar hablando en serio. Sargento, sargento. You're talking to me. Un hombre acaba de estar aquí. Dijo, establemos en peligro. Tenemos que... Dos bueno, why don't you quit your yapping and make yourself useful? Can't you see I'm trying to build your replacement? I mean, uh, I 
I'm trying to build your... Well, yeah, he's pretty much your replacement. Don't fear in me, muchacho. No os molestais. Usted puede dibujar y el todavía iba a encontrar alguna manera. Pero podríamos ser rescatados. Yo puedo ser un cabeza de este cañón o un cabeza de este cañón. Realmente no me importa. Pero ¿qué pasa con nuestros creadores? Solo peor. ¿Qué quieres decir? Suspiro. Vas a querer sentarse a esta historia. Y será de 20 horas y en intervalos de 5 minutos. Pretty neat, huh? So, who uses this? Mainly just Simmons and Caboose. Oh, wait. It looks like Sarge has a profile now. Like? And you just talk about yourself? You can post pictures and stuff, too. I've been downloading this picture of Freckles for a while. How long has that been going for? Eh, just a few hours. You spent hours of our limited energy just downloading a single picture? It is a very high-quality picture. Well, you can't argue with that. So, is this all you did while we were out last night? Nope. I cleaned this space from top to bottom. It was the least I could do to make it look more presentable. I did the dishes, swept sand off the floor. Wow. Did you clean Griff's room? Griff has a room? Well, he and Simmons shared that side of the base, but Griff's stuff kind of overflowed onto the roof. Ooh, let me take a peek. Oh my gosh! If this post gets over 10,000 likes, Facebook will pay for a rescue team to come save us! <laughs> I know, it sounds too good to be true! Dexter Griff! Huh? I can't live in this base with the way you've been treating it. The layout is all wrong, the color palette is atrocious, and the garden doesn't even have flowers in it. Just vegetables! Also, I think someone tried to plant candy corn at some point. <clears throat> I wonder who did that. How's the testing going? Well, Doc, after countless experiments, I've determined that the teleportation cubes are still fucking awesome. All other data's been inconclusive. Griff, I really think we shouldn't be messing with these. They could be dangerous. We can't just keep throwing them around all willy-nilly. Give me that. Hey! I stop! to everything that was in it. Oh, man. Hey, somebody liked my post. <laughs> Things are sure looking up for Private Simmons. What the? What are you doing? I'm fixing the radio. By beating it with the butt of your rifle? It worked for you, but that was... You know what? Why don't you just come over here and do it yourself? Try connecting the antenna port to the amp. What? If you increase the input voltage, that will just fry the radio. But if you were to transmit through an amp... All I hear are words that would get me beat up in high school. Tucker, I'm being serious. Oh my god, stop the fucking presses. Agent Washington is being serious. If you just listen to me, you could do this. Well, I don't want to do this. You ever think of that? All I want to do is stand around and talk to my friend, but he is gone now, and all I've got is you. What? It's fucking bullshit. Did you know I was one of the worst freelancers in my squad? There was Agent York, our security specialist. Agent North, the sharpshooter. Carolina was an expert in martial arts, and Tex was... Well, you know Tex. Cool story, bro. I was known for getting a grappling hook stuck to my balls. Okay, where are you going with this? Church was your leader for years. You guys knew each other inside and out. Dude, don't phrase it like that. But I'm new to all of this. I've never really had to lead anybody before. But when Church and Carolina disappeared, I didn't have a choice. I had to try. Well, there's your problem. You tried too hard, man. I mean, Church wasn't the best leader ever, but he never made us run laps or do push-ups or anything. He just took the blame whenever shit went wrong. That was pretty much it. Well, we're shipwrecked low on food, and have to do whatever Caboose tells us, or we'll be killed by a robot. Sounds like you really fucked up. Yeah. Kind of looks that way. But, I guess you weren't really our leader when the ship crashed, so you don't have to take the blame for that one. Whoops. Sorry. Knocked the cable out of the wall. Hope that wasn't important. 
I'll take some of the blame. Whatever. So are you gonna fix this radio or not? Well, when I started, the radio was working, but the signal wasn't strong enough. And now it's just... not working. Sounds like you really fucked up. Don't be a dick. You're a capable soldier, Tucker. At least compared to your usual acquaintances. You just need to... try. Oh. What? It was just turned off. I'll touch on no, team, 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 team. Uh, yes, Captain? Uh, yeah, I know we all said that we wanted to fix the radio, and that was really important to fix the radio in the tower, and all that is really important. We'll probably die if it's not repaired. But, uh, I really need you guys to go back to Blue Base and kind of clean up. Clean up what? Garbage, robot parts, grow stocks all over, uh, Simmons. Yeah, uh, Simmons actually won't stop rocking back and forth in the corner, and it's kind of, uh, kind of freaking me out. And you're sure you mean Blue Base? Do not question your commanding officer. Okay, okay. We'll be there in a few minutes. Assistant Captain Best Friend Freckles, initiate piggyback sequence! We're all going to die because of him. Tucker, I need you to head back to base and do what you can. I'm going up to the ship. You're leaving me again? What the fuck do you need to go to the ship for? I found something. I just need you to buy me some time. Why? What are you going to do? Hopefully... I'm going to put a stop to this. Espanta Pejaros. Si. Se fueran a pasar el rato con todas las verduras. Toma 90 días para cultivar mes. Eso es terrible. Que no era la mejor. Hey, Lopez's. Why don't you two come over here and give me a hand? I always gotta get on my knees to work on this thing, but I figured it'd be easier if you just held it at chest level instead. Si, senor. Espera. Hey, una cosa acera de esta gente que no me gusta. Que? Sargento, ¿por qué no quieres que se siente? Miedo podría traer de vuelta. <laughs> oh, Lopez, you old kidder, you. Now, come on, time's wasting. Oi, Sargento. Fueles. <laughs> oh, now don't tell me he's got you in on it, too. <laughs> Lopez, you are rambunctious. A veces se conforma conversaciones. Eres un util. It is a lovely day, isn't it? Y no es inteligente. Thank you for noticing. I have been hitting the gym. Tu madre es tan gorda que utilas un escalade de Richter. Y ella es una puta. <laughs> you guys are like a couple of three stooges. Well, whenever you two are done goofing off, head on over. I just need to make a few more adjustments. Quédate conmigo, chico. Y te ir a bien. Here goes nothing. Washington. Oh, Freckles! I, I didn't see you there. Man, for a behemoth, you hide really well. You have failed to uphold your duty to Captain Caboose. But I was on my way up now, ready to clean the base. You lack diligence, Agent Washington. What? You question authority, Agent Washington. Um... Caboose, can you come out here? You must be... Washington. Come Hello! Your pet is trying to kill me! What? That does not sound like... Hey, Freckles! Freckles, what are you doing? Agent Washington has failed to meet the minimum requirements of Blue Team service and is no longer fit for duty. He must be eliminated. Oh, see, he's just doing whatever it is that he just said. Caboose, please come here! I need to talk to you! 
Ah, probably wanted to talk about what an awesome leader I am. <clears throat> yes, hello. What seems to be the problem, Major Washington? Sorry your best friend left you without saying goodbye. Maybe he thought you would try to stop him, or maybe it was just too hard for him to tell you, but no matter the reason, he's still gone. He left you. Both of you. I don't really do emotional things, and I hoped you might be able to get over this by yourself, so I left you alone. Instead of coming to terms with what you lost, you replaced it with, well, the first thing you found. But I should have been there for you, Caboose. <sighs> because uh, that's what friends do for each other. Captain Caboose is not your friend. He is your commanding. Uh, no, we're, we're all friends here, Freckles. It's, you know. That's right. And as your friend, I want to say that I'm sorry. I know it's not much, but I made you this. Oh my god! My old helmet! Captain Caboose, you should return to your duties. I know how much you like Freckles, Caboose, but you have to understand that he's very dangerous. He's not a puppy anymore. A kitten, or... He, he's really big. Yeah, he built up a car. I remember that. Freckles, you, you are one of the best machines I know. That is saying something because I have been friends with a lot of machines. But from now on, I, I, I think you should listen to Agent Washington. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, he's very smart and really nice. It's not as much fun as it looks. Yeah, I think I'm more of the dashing second-in-command kind of person, you know? All the perks, no work. Thank you, Caboose. <laughs> I wish my team was this emotional. Jesus Christ. Ah, it fits perfect! And hey, look, someone left some gum! Pretty sneaky wash. A couple of mushy words, a present, and you're right back up at the top. Nothing sneaky about it. I meant every word. Uh oh. I I can't see anything. Hey, hello? I think you still need to work on your craftsmanship, though. Oh my God! I'm blind. One step at a time, Tucker. Hey, can can people see me? I can't see them. Well, at least we don't have a killer robot to worry about anymore. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Listen to that lady purr. Nice work, Sarge. Nice work. It looks like shit. It's half the size. And it's on fire! Yeah, it turns out we were missing some pieces. Which reminds me... Ow! Donut, get me a glass. Oh! <laughs> I'm making orange juice. Girl. Every time, getting a jump on the flu season. Good thinking, sir. Wait, that's a thing? Cyclops online. Ha! Huh. I knew she was a beautiful lady. Cyclops? That's more like a praying mantis to me. No, she said CC Cyclops. I think it's Italian. Error. Hardware malfunction. Welcome to Red Team, CC. Now if you can- Enemy soldiers detected. Uh, is it supposed to do that? I admire your enthusiasm, CC. But you've only got one enemy. It's a big robot over it. Negative. Motion tracker detects 16 hostiles. Wait, what? De de deadly force authorized. Uh, I'm not hostile. I'm a pacifist. Kill them. Hey! In 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 engaging.
Oh shit. Who the fuck are these guys? Why are we shooting all fireworks? Is it Dylan's birthday? Freckle, cover kaboom! Happy birthday to me. Stop shooting! We're friendly! That's the opposite of what I said! Fuck this! We don't know who they are! They're the guys that are gonna kill us if we don't kill them first! Freckles, take them out! Engaging targets! Primary threat eliminated. What the Sam hell's going on over here? Who are those guys? We don't know. They showed up and just started shooting. Oh, hombre. De repente me siento el mal por... Shut up, Lopez! This isn't the time for jokes! Y ahora me arrepiento de nada. Let's move inside. We need to find cover in case there's more hiding out in the- Run! Look out! It's another one! Go! Oh, son of a bitch! No, wait. I'm confused. Uh, what are you doing? I said run! Excellent work, soldiers. You killed my men. I suppose that makes you the real deal. Okay, now I'm really confused. Quiet. All of you. And why would we do that? Because if you don't come now, I'll have to take you later. Fuck off! You, shut your mouth and be glad I missed your head. Oh my god, you are such a douchebag. Yeah, what he said. This is your last chance. Freckle! Holy shit! Did you see that? No! What happened? Please describe it to me! Use only small words! Um... Any of you know how to patch up a leg? I'll go get some orange juice. Wait, that's a thing? There. Good as new. I can't feel my toes. That's normal. Is it? Hey, whoa. You need to start talking. Mm, aggressive, paranoid, and a little melodramatic. You must be Agent Washington. Ha! <laughs> melodramatic! And that means the rest of you are the reds and the blues. Oh my god, how did he know that? We're wearing red and blue armor. But how can he tell? Will somebody please fix his helmet? How do you know who we are? Seriously? Come on, man. Everybody knows about you guys. You're heroes. Heroes? You're the team that brought down Project Freelancer. You're some of the galaxy's greatest soldiers. Well, I can see how you might think that. Because it's absolutely true. It's partially true. But mainly false. Stop giving him information. What's your name? Felix. Okay, Felix. What are you doing here? Do you want the long answer or the short one? Do you want another bullet in your leg? Hey, that bullet's there because of you! He's got a point. <sighs> Just... Explain what's going on. Uh, yeah. Like, who are those guys that were trying to kill us? And why haven't we been rescued yet? Wait. Where do you think you are? What do you mean? I mean, do you understand where you've crashed? Well, we've been taking bets. Highest wagers currently on Bermuda Triangle. After that, we got Gilligan's Island and Purgatory. So stupid. No, just think about it. It makes perfect sense. The reason no one's come to help you is the same reason no one's come to help them. Them? The people on this planet. What planet? Chorus. Never heard of it. Well, I wouldn't expect you to. It's on the very edge of colonized space, and after the war between the humans and the aliens, it was more or less forgotten by Earth and the UNSC. We crashed in the middle of nowhere, on a planet in the middle of nowhere. Fucking beautiful, everybody. But how did we end up so far from home? It should have been a short flight. Sir, please, you can't be back here. These engines are delicate. Can it, Poindexter? No wonder this flight's taking so long. Who ever heard of delicate engines? These engines are supposed to be big, loud, and terrible for the environment. Let's kick this baby into slip space. Whee! Uh, one mystery at a time there, Simmons. Now, being a small planet, completely free of UNSC jurisdiction, the nice little people of Chorus decided to run things on their own. The only problem was, they didn't do a very good job. Ugh. History is the worst. Can you just get to the point? The point is, you've crash-landed in the middle of a civil war. And I'm on the side that's trying to keep you alive. And which side is that? The New Republic. Essentially, a bunch of people got fed up with the way things were going on Chorus, so they put together a rebel army and decided to fight for their freedom. It's all very patriotic. 
So what? Does that make those guys the evil empire or something? Yeah, you could say that. Oh. Oh, fuck. But why the attack? Why tried to kidnap us? Like I said, you're the greatest soldiers in the galaxy. That makes you a pretty hot commodity. And I'd be lying if I said my shitty attempt at a rescue mission didn't have a few strings attached. What kind of strings are we talking here? <sighs> the rebels need your help. Once they heard that you were on Chorus, they sent me out with a small team to find you and bring you back. They're hoping you might be the key to winning this war. No. No? Yeah. No. Yeah, that, that's not gonna work for me. Look, Felix, I hate to break it to you, but we're in no condition to fight a war. All we want is a ride off this shitty planet. No offense. Eh, it ain't my shitty planet. Aren't you one of the rebels? No, I'm a freelancer. No, I mean I'm a mercenary. You know, a gun for hire. Oh, thank God. They paid you to come find us. They pay me to do lots of stuff. But, yeah, you're my current paycheck. So you want us to go fight someone else's war just so you can make some extra cash? Uh, it's for a good cause? Right. We'll just take that ride out of here, if you don't mind. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mediocrity. Woohoo! Here's to not going that extra mile. You know, I wasn't alone when I came out here to find you. There were three of us. Just think about that. Whatever. It's not like we asked them to save us. Yeah, we definitely didn't build a giant radio tower to send a distress signal or anything. Shut up. Headquarters, this is Felix. I've made contact with the Reds and Blues. Holy shit, you found them? That's great! Uh, what's your status? Not good. We ran into some feds. I need an evac team. Uh, Felix, I can't just fly somebody out there. Yeah, I know, okay? But you send as many men as you can as fast as you can. Locus has our position. Oh, no. Who's Locus? No, I want to do this quiet, and I want to do it right. But just to be safe, bring a shitload of guns. Right. Sending reinforcements, sir. Roger. Felix out. So, what now? Now we work on making this canyon the most defendable hole in the ground the universe has ever seen. Why? Because we're about to get hit hard. I need a detailed list of the supplies you've got on hand. Let's set up choke points and mark potential snipers now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. We're not telling you anything. We still don't even know if we can believe you. Well, believe this. If we don't prepare for a fight, we might as well just be waiting for a massacre. Tucker, see if you can fix Caboose's helmet. Yes! Who said that? Sarge, you and the Reds build up an arsenal. If we can use it as a weapon, let's get it prepped. I can think of a few things that might come in handy. Felix, you and I aren't done talking. Well, all right then. Let's see if you guys are as good as they say. Prepare to be sorely disappointed. All right, boys. We don't have much time. So let's see what we've got. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Private Simmons. Great to be back. Wrap it up. Good to be back. Nobody cares. <sighs> All right, just shut up and listen. We had a full armory on board the ship consisting of firearms as well as explosives. I moved as many as I could down here and also took the liberty of setting up a minefield near Red Base. But you didn't even bury them. From what I could tell, they're designed to rest above the ground. Uh, with blinking red warning lights? Yeah, it doesn't really make any sense. Excellent work, Simmons. Now go organize those firearms. Yes, sir. Griff, Doc, how are those teleportation tests going? Well, we've learned the cubes can be set to different frequencies. For example, if I throw a cube set to frequency A, it will absorb an object. If I then throw a second cube on frequency A, that object will reappear. Meanwhile, if I've got a cube set to B, I can throw it like so. Yeah, hey, wait! And then throw a second cube set to B, without ever messing with the stuff sucked up by the cube set to A. Hmm. Well, all they do is teleport things. No explosions, no violence. Nah. Well, we maybe can make them absorb grenades, and then we can throw the grenade-filled cubes at the enemy. At that point, wouldn't it just make sense to throw grenades? We're not here to make sense, Private. We're here to win. Take Donut and go find a way to make your stupid cubes do something useful. <sighs> Fine. And finally, we have the Lopez's. Stop standing next to each other. I can never tell you two apart. Esta jodidamente, Sirio. I need you two to get to work on repairing CC's fuel tanks. Prepara el malfuncionamiento de robot. El que trato de matar a todo el mundo. I can't wait to see her. Triumphantly leading the charge on the front lines. Listening. In the sunlight, with the blood of her fallen enemies. Esa será su sangre. Ella cree que todo es 
Su enemigo idiota. Wait a minute. This is a terrible idea. Oh, gracias a Dios. Solo espera. I can't trust an idiotic robot with a job as important as this. Ahí está. Excuse me. Change your plans. You two go prep the workstation, then wait for me to arrive and do the job myself. I'm gonna go find my favorite welding torch. Es una locos. Están todos locos. Oye, donde está Doc? All right, how's that? Nope, still can't see. Open your eyes. Oh my god, the graphics are incredible! You're welcome. Ah, oh. ah, oh, thanks, Tucker. Uh, you know, you, you and I have had our differences in the past. I have called you stupid. You have called me stupid. I have tried to kill you. Uh-huh. But, you know, at the end of the day, I like to think that you and I are actually... What? I can barely hear you. Damn it, I think fixing your visor somehow broke your radio. Just stand still. So how bad is this? The man coming for us is named Locus. He's a merc, like me. Only, you know, terrifying. Locus? Yeah. Guy's so far off the deep end, he prefers to go by the name of his armor instead of the name he was born with. That's unsettling. Oh, are you first name Agent, last name Washington? That's so weird. That's just... old habits. Yeah, well, here's to hoping those old habits of yours kick in when he shows up. You know, I thought there'd be more of you. Weren't you with another freelancer and an AI? They disappeared not long after we crashed. Sheesh. Any idea where they went? No. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I haven't heard anything about them over the radio, so, um... That's probably good. How was he able to cloak himself? Hmm? Locus. He turned invisible. How? The Federal Army's got all sorts of fancy stuff. I got my light shield off a dead soldier. Wow. Pretty cool. It's just that I've never seen that kind of equipment outside of Project Freelancer. Welcome to the future, Wash. Technology's incredible, and everyone uses it to kill each other. Does that mean your guys have the same equipment? I wish. The New Republic's barely getting by with what they can. You wouldn't happen to have any high-tech armor aboard that wreck, would you? Plenty of armor, just nothing out of the ordinary. Well, at least you can accessorize. Eh? Huh? Try a little color combo mixing up. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just trying to lighten the mood. Actually, I think I might indulge in some of those old habits you were talking about. Follow me. Man, you're just... Cryptic. Like, all the time. Do you realize that? La fijación del robot estúpido por lo que nuestra estúpida creador estúpidamente Felicidades, chico, que finalmente te se ha roto. Cállate. Ya sabes, no tiene por qué ser así. ¿Qué estás hablando? Si usted fijase, se... Ella probablemente va a matar a todos. No me importa. Pero si fijase se ni me cargue en su cuerpo, podría asegurarse de que no me... Tienes razón. Pero, ¿por qué le dará a su cuerpo cuando puedo tomar por mí mismo? Espera. ¿Qué? Well, it just goes to show that with time, effort, and a little bit of elbow grease, we really can achieve wonders. We spent hours turning this place into a war zone, and you made me hate it in one sentence. It's what he does. Donut's got a point, though. I think we're ready. Ooh, back in black! Looks good, Wash. Nah, that's something that brings back some memories. It's like when we first met. And then we met again, and you shot Donut. I'm impressed, guys. This place looks good. And between the landmines, freckles, and the tank, I don't think anyone's going to stand a chance against us. Run for your lives! Sarge? Oh shit, they're here! Everyone, get ready! No, wait, this, this isn't right. Who we'll can attack like this? But who else on this planet wants them dead?
giant robot fight. Totally called that on Facebook. Wait, everyone calm down. Shit. Surrender now, and I promise only to kill the mercenary. Well, fuck. Oh yeah? You and what army? The Federal Army of Chorus. Well, I guess I walked right into that one. Looks like backup isn't getting here in time. Uh, Wash, what's the plan? Engaging target. Get to cover! I did not want to go through that shit again. 
Felix for a man down. Where is that backup? I don't know. They should be here in a few minutes. We don't have a few minutes. If we can't get Freckles online, we won't stand a chance. Ugh. Such bullshit. Hey, where are you going? Tucker! Facebook. He did it! We're getting power! Charging! Freeze! Oh crap. You and your friends have caused us a lot of trouble. Now lay down your weapon. What the hell? Pendejo. Dose point oh? No, idiota. Lopez! That was fucking awesome! Where did you get that body? Lo tome de un idiota molesto. I don't know what you said, but that's great. Now let's get out of here! Esto es Lopez La Posado. Puta. Shields 25% charged. Ha ha! Eight lands, you seemingly infinite number of soldiers! Yeah, how's it feel to get your ass kicked by a bunch of losers? Wait, alright. Everyone together now, we can do this. No. You can't. Oh no! Is he okay? Then <laughs> Sirio, acabo de recibir este maldito cuerpo. You bastards, stay away from my men! If anybody's gonna kill him, it's gonna be me! to the back of the head. Good news is, we made it back to base undetected. Back to base? Welcome to the New Republic. Felix, what the fuck is going on? Where is everyone? Griff, Simmons, and Caboose are up at the main compound. Well, what about everyone else? What about Sarge? What about Wash? Um, I I'm gonna go. Yeah. Thanks, Doc. Dude, do not fuck with me right now. We had to leave them, Tucker. What? 
Look, the feds were closing in. If we'd stayed any longer, they would have taken you too. No! That's bullshit! That's war, Tucker. Not everyone makes it back. You guys put up a good fight. I can see why Kimball wants you. Who the fuck is Kimball? I am. Vanessa Kimball, leader of the New Republic, and very glad to meet you. I wish you were under better circumstances. Uh, yeah. Your friends are waiting for you up near the mess hall. It's just north of here. Why don't you go catch up? We'll talk later. Yeah. You're not getting paid the full amount. I know. You're lucky you're getting paid at all. I know. Are they as good as we hoped? I think so. Either that or they're just really lucky. Well, they probably don't feel very lucky. It's a small rebel army, Griff. It's poor customer service. You were eating everything. I'm an emotional leader. What can I say? Tucker? Hey. So. Man, what the fuck is going on? After you were knocked out, we were taken to this huge cave somewhere beneath the jungle. These guys live in a cave? They're rebels. Of course they live in a cave. It's hidden. Nah, I'm a Tucker. I was expecting some badass snow base or something. What? Why? That's what they had in Star Wars. How is that even relevant? Tell me this is not just like Star Wars. Tell me. Tucker does have a glowing sword. Tucker has a glowing sword, Simmons! Man, we're really all that made it? Hey, something's come up. Follow me. Dude, I'm telling you, it's them. Well, maybe we're not fucked. Michael Caboose, Dexter Griff, Richard Simmons, and Lavernius Tucker. The four of you have traveled great distances, retrieved ancient artifacts, brought corrupt men to justice, and bested the most dangerous war criminal this galaxy has ever known. And now it seems fate has brought you to our doorstep. No pressure. I am aware that you've been informed of our situation, and I understand your reluctance to help fight a war that is not your own. But we've just received word that the Federal Army has your friends alive and in captivity. They're okay? What's gonna happen to them? We're not sure. But, if they're alive, it means they can be rescued. And it means this war may become yours after all. Oh, shit. So, I'm going to make you a promise. If you help us take back our planet, we'll help you take back your friends. And when it's all over, you can take our best ship and fly as far away from this place as you want. I know it's not the best offer, but what do you say? Look, lady, I don't know what you think we can do, but I seriously doubt we can actually do it. This war has gone on for too long. Too many people have died, and our remaining soldiers are young, inexperienced, and scared. But you give them hope. They've heard what you've done, and they will look to you for guidance. They will run with you into battle, and they will follow your orders if you choose to lead them. I can't do this alone. Sarge is gone. Wash is gone. How the hell are we supposed to do this without them? Yeah, none of us have ever led anyone before. Well, not for very long. I know, but... You just need to try. Crash site Bravo, sir. And? The crate was recovered, intact and completely sealed. Wonderful news. However, it looks as if they tried to blast it open. Do you think they knew? Highly unlikely. Report back to control as soon as possible, Lucas. Are you sure keeping them alive was the best course of action? Do you feel threatened by the simulation troopers, Lucas? Of course not. Then we will continue with our endeavors as previously discussed. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Good. I'll be there before you know it. <laughs> Thank you for checking out this episode of Red vs. Blue. 
If you enjoyed watching, head over to Rooster Teeth for more of this show and... And don't forget to be a first member if you want access to premium content before everyone else. Get out of the shot, Ray.